Automobilista 2 has mod support now. Yes, you heard that right. Cars, skins, custom AI strength, you name it. AMS2 is finally dipping its big toe into community-created content and it couldn't be more glorious. So, if you want to race as Michael Schumacher fighting it out against Mika Häkkinen on track, then your time has come now. As I will show you today how you can install mods for AMS2, where you can find them, which ones are recommended, how to install skins and real driver names, as well as completely new vehicles to the game. Ready? Then let's go! Welcome back to Overtake.gg, my name is Champion Joe and in the past couple of weeks, since version 1.3 came out, I haven't been able to keep my hands off AMS2. The sim has finally grown into something I dearly enjoy and can recommend to everybody who's searching for a next-gen sim that offers multiple car classes and tracks from all around the world. But if you need more convincing, check out my last video where I gave you 10 good reasons why you should pick it up right now. However, as you've already clicked on a video about mods, I reckon you already made a jump and now want to learn more about modifying AMS2 and enhancing your gaming experience. And in my opinion, you came to the right place. Today, I'll show you two different ways of installing mods. First, how to add custom skins, driver names and AI lines. And afterwards, we'll have a look on how to get new cars like this Dodge Viper over here. Nice car. What's the retail on one of those? That's the best part of it, Paul. All mods come free of charge. Let's start with custom skins and AI information. Just like with other sim racing titles like Assetto Corsa for example, Race Department remains the best place to find or share mods. Under the download tab you can navigate to Automobilista 2 and search for what you're looking for over here or filter by downloads or user rating. I'm going for this Formula V10 Gen 2 skin pack, bringing back the Formula 1 2001 season with all the correct liveries, driver names and corresponding AI skills to make battles in single player even more realistic. Which F1 season would you choose? I mean 2001 has a pretty rad lineup. Michael Schumacher, his brother Ralf, David Coulthard, Mika Häkkinen, Kimi Raikkonen, Fernando Alonso, Heinz Harald Frenzen, Eddie Irvine. I mean, that's pretty good. But anyhow, to install this pack of skins, we select the download button on the top and navigate to our downloads folder. The file downloaded is a compressed file, so make sure you have 7-zip or WinRA at hand and unzip it so you can access all the data freely. After that's done, we have to open our Automobilista 2 installation path. This can be found via Steam, so fire up Steam, go to your games library, click right on AMS2 and select Manage Browse Local Files. Now all we have to do is drag and drop all the files from one window to the other one to install the skins, driver names and the AI difficulty. This works with almost every mod on race department, so feel free to discover awesome content for free. Alright, all that's left for me to teach you is how to get some new cars in the game. Sadly, installing new cars isn't as easy as setting up some skins. Also, at this moment in time, there isn't all that much to choose from when it comes to car mods. As you can see, the car tab on a race department is still blank, not listing a single seater. You get it? Single seater? <laughs> Genius. In the video description, you'll find a link to the Project Cars 2 modding team website, where 10 brand new vehicles for MS2 can be found. Most of them are road cars, so these are maybe not the best for racing, but the exception here is the Alpine A110 Cup. That is a fun car to drive, and one of the best to have some close door-to-door -door racing with. So, press the big download button on the left, and afterwards scroll back up to the top of the page, so that you can also download the AMS2 boot files, which we'll need to fire up the car in-game. Sadly, that's not all we need. You will also find a download link in the video description for the JS Game Mod Enabler, which is important to enable or disable mods in AMS2. Uncompress all of them and start with the JS Game files, dragging them over to the Automobilista 2 root folder just like this. Next up are the boot files we downloaded, same scheme, but this time around we are not dropping them off into the installation folder, but rather into this mods folder we just placed there in the previous step. So grab them and drop them off here. The same applies to all the car mods we want to install, take the mod folder and drag and drop it into the mods folder. I know, I know, it's a drag, but now it's time for some hacking. 
Okay, maybe not that type of hacking. But we need to add some lines to the AMS2 boot file to let the game know what cars we want to include. First, we head into the boot file folder. Click on vehicles and then scroll all the way down to the bottom to find the vehicles.lst file. You can open it with basically any text program. For now, we'll use Notepad. Here you can see some lines of code for every car in the game and we need to add our own lines to include the Alpine A110 Cup to this list. So go back to the mods folder into the Alpine directory and open the attached readme file which always comes with these mods. Here you can see the line we need to copy and paste it into the vehicle list. Press file, save. Awesome. Last step before we can install the car, add another line for the physics. These lines can also be found in the readme file just over here. Copy them and navigate back to the boot files folder. In here, click on vehicle again, but now we'll enter the physics folder. Next, go to driveline and open up the driveline.rg file, again with notepad. Scroll all the way down and add those lines we've just copied at the bottom, just before the word end like this. Don't forget to press save. Lastly, we need to open the generic mods enabler, Jay's game, in our AMS2 installation folder. After it's open up, select all cars we want to install and press the single arrow button in the middle. Afterwards, we must repeat that process with the boot file, which needs to be installed last to work properly. And that's it! Maybe not the easiest mod installation I did in my life, but hey, at least it works! Take a look! I think Automobilista 2 modding is still a bit on the clunky side. It's hard to get everything up and running and with every new version that will come out in the future, you will have to repeat all the steps with a new boot file. But just like the game itself, this will become better over time. Clearly Razer has already an eye on the modding community, including native support for the custom skins in the latest update. But who knows what the future holds, maybe installing new cars will be as easy as one click one day but for now, you have this handy guide to help you out. As always, if you need more sim racing action right now, go and visit overtake.gg and don't forget to get subscribed for more awesome tutorials like this one. Here on YouTube, you can continue your journey with our latest video with Shadir, where he shared his practicing routine with us. Interesting stuff, I promise. But that's all from me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time around. Cheers.